In both Drake and Kendrick Lamar's This Is To Each Other, they both mentioned the weight loss drug or Zempic, and this propelled Google searches for this drug. This drug is leading to some insanely fast weight loss for some. 4.9 kilograms I've lost in nine days because of this. In this video, we'll discuss what you can learn about weight loss from a Zempic, how you can mimic the results of a Zempic naturally without injections, and why a rapid weight loss is not all this cracked up to be. Here's what you can do instead. So if you want to hack your body for faster weight loss, then watch this video. In the UK where I'm from, Ozempic or Zemaglutide is a prescription drug, an expensive one. In America, it can cost between $1,300 to $1,500 per month and you can only get it from your GP or a licensed doctor. And this does not stop many people from getting it on the black market, but the price tag is why mainly celebrities are using it for fat loss, hence why it found its way into this. Is. It was originally approved for type 2 diabetes in 2017 by the FDA, but it was also shown to help with weight loss and that's why many people take it today. Well, how does it work? The first way it works is that it increases production of a compound called glucagon-like peptide 1 or GLP-1 and this is a chemical involved in the regulation of appetite and insulin secretion. This hormone reduces appetite and it increases feelings of fullness, helping you feel full for longer. So if you feel full for longer, you will eat less. The next way that Ozempic helps with weight loss is that it slows down the rate at which the stomach empties. So you feel full for longer and you're less likely to overeat. And lastly, it lowers blood sugar due to the increase in insulin that it helps produce. It essentially makes the pancreas produce more insulin and better blood sugar control can indirectly support with weight loss. And I'm a huge fan of trying to understand why some of these medicines work, how some of these compounds work, so we can naturally hack the body to get the same results. And the results with Ozempic are fast. They're intense and that's why a lot of celebrities are using it. And as I mentioned, it's a prescription medication and with most medications, there tends to be a long list of potential side effects from simple things like constipation to abdominal pain or serious ones like inflammation of the pancreas. As you know, it's impacting the pancreas to produce more insulin or kidney issues even thyroid cancer, and even for some, it's been shown to have potential suicidal thoughts. Or even worse, it can lead to insane rap battles. <laughs> like what we're seeing now with Kendrick Lamar, Rick Ross and Drake, and they all have lines where they mention this drug in particular. It's, but are there ways we can get the same results naturally? Of course, with nature, everything tends to be slower. But why is it that you need to lose weight so rapidly anyway? For some people that might lead to like excess skin or too much skin. So slower might be better and we're going to explore how nature can help. To help hack the body, it's good to understand what GLP-1 actually does within the body and it essentially helps the brain communicate better with the gut and the gut communicate better with the brain. Its main actions are to stimulate insulin secretion, act as an incretin hormone and to inhibit glycogen secretion and this can contribute second hand to appetite suppression but this brings about the question is this something you're going to use for life when you stop using it are you going to snap back i think things that are a bit more rapid come with their own risk in itself because you aren't going to keep up something that's unsustainable what's more sustainable than injecting yourself once a week it's herbs it's teas it's natural things so we're going to dive into that now there is one compound that has been used by bodybuilders and seems to have a similar effect just not as intense and just not as fast and this compound is called berberin and Berberin is a chemical found in many plants such as berberi, such as golden seal and tree turmeric. These are some great herbs and berberin in itself has many benefits and it can be similar to ozempic. For one, it can help regulate blood sugar to increase fat burn and studies show that it induces or increases GLP-1 secretion in the intestines. And for that reason, it's said to have a similar effect to ozempic. And the highest natural sources of berberin are in golden seal and barberry. These are roughly between three to five percent, three to six percent, depending on where it's grown. I've also got some Burberry and I'll be testing its impacts. So I'll keep you guys updated to see if I see any differences. In one study in people with obesity, taking 500 ml of Burberry three times a day caused about five pounds of weight loss on average. Most participants lost about 3.6 percent of their body fat. Ozempic in itself, people lose about 12 percent of their body fat. So you're comparing 3.6 here to 12. But in my opinion, slow and controlled will always win long term because when you come out of the habits that led to that rapid weight loss, 
you're more likely to put it back on. And another reason that berberin works well for weight loss is that it causes people to feel full and it helps with regulation of appetite, similar to how Ozempic works, but potentially on a less intense scale. So yeah, I'll be experimenting with Barberry tea. And if you want to know what my experiences are like, comment down below and I'll be sure to update you. There are other key benefits of berberin, especially for the athletes, for the gym guys, and that could be to help increase recovery after intense workouts and this is due to its anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties it might also help increase testosterone production it might also help increase uptake of glucose into the cells which is similar to what we spoke about earlier and similar to that which ozempic does in terms of blood sugar regulation the next herb which has some significant weight loss impacts such like Ozempic but less intense is Panax Ginseng and this happens to be one of my favourite herbs which I don't take often due to its hefty price tag. You're talking like £215 which is like $250 per kg but it's a serious herb and studies show that it exerted weight loss effects on every single person in the study who took it and also slight effects on gut microbiota in everyone. Another study showed that Panax Ginseng promoted GLP-1 secretion similar to what Ozempic does but of course probably less intense and and the main thing bringing about this effect is panax ginseng key compounds or its active compound called gestenocides and this is what is leading to this impact in humans as well as the studies in animals this study on screen right now showed that people who took panax ginseng reduced weight and their bmi but there was no decreases in like weight circumference and body fat percentage but all in all it was positive for weight loss. Panax ginseng has also shown positive impacts in controlling blood sugar. So these two herbs can be used straight away to have positive impacts for fat loss. There are other key herbs for weight loss. If you want to learn more about that, click here, but we're focusing on herbs that can mimic the impacts of Ozempic. The difference between something like Ozempic, which is a single action and holistic medicine, is holistic medicine, such as herbs, has many potential benefits on the body, whereas Ozempic will have mainly one, which is for weight loss. Whereas there's many benefits of Panax Ginseng, such as mental health benefits, libido benefits, fertility benefits, focus benefits, and brain function, it helps improve brain function and general immunity helping you stay healthy for longer so you can really get to the back it's also a great addition for lift up because it helps with muscle growth the next herb is more common to west africa and is known locally as ejirin <laughs> hope i'm pronouncing that right but more commonly known as bitter lemon which more of you might be familiar with the extracts of bitter lemon have been shown to have positive impacts on GLP-1 in humans as well as animals. One early study on those who took bitter lemon for three months showed that the extract decreased waist size, it improved blood sugar control, and this is essentially what Ozempic does. So that's three herbs and there's other lifestyle things you can do to help mimic these impacts such as eating more protein. Protein is essentially key for weight loss. It's an easy hack. Eating nuts and both of these have been shown to help increase secretion of GLP. The nuts in itself, yes, um, that might be due to its fat content, but also eating more fiber, eating things like avocado due to its fats. These are beneficial for the body's natural ability to produce GLP-1. So in conclusion, everybody wants faster and faster is good in the short term. But what about the long term? What's a long term solution? And long term, I really doubt you can sustain injecting yourself once a week and pain an arm on a leg. And who knows what the long term impacts of this might be. I say most people will be more comfortable with a slower weight loss, a change in lifestyle, calorie reduction or being in a calorie deficit, eating healthier and better lifestyle choices to sustain that weight loss. So you're gradually improving over time. But what do you think? Is Ozempic the future or are you opting for herbs? Before you go, check out this video on the benefits of Panax Ginseng. It's powerful. I'll see you next week. Peace.